Are you a trend influencer in your own circle? In circle of your friends, your family's relatives, are they, or do they all count on your suggestion for um, what they should wear, what is in trend and what is in fashion? Are you following designers? Are you following designer labels uh, nationally or internationally? Are you aware about their work? Can you identify the difference between one designer's work with the other? Can you identify the kind of craft or detailing that they do? Are you a visual person? Do visuals interest you more and take your attention more and you tend to remember things by seeing things, by seeing visuals and images or videos? Then I think this is your place. Do you have an active account on social media sites like Instagram or YouTube or Facebook or any other such? If you do, then I think you're already into it because when you're uploading content, you're actually doing research. You're actually looking at other people's Pinterest or Instagram or YouTube accounts. That's, I think, one of the best ways. Are you maintaining a sketchbook? Are you drawing or are you sketching almost daily or even, you know, on an interval? Are you maintaining a sketchbook? I think that's one of the best ways to assess yourself, best ways to actually come towards this path because sketching is the most important thing where you put your imaginations, your creativity on paper. And that happens only through sketching. And the more fluid and smooth you become in your sketching, I think it's just going to be more intuitive. Whatever you're thinking and if you're able to sketch it, I think that's how you can express your creativity. Creativity is like the most important pillar here. If you have a creative angle where you can think outside the box, that's where ideas come into play. By the way, if you're really good at sketching, you can even consider other fields like graphic design, animation design, UI, UX, and many others. These are all very visual heavy. The base of this is actually graphic design. You can actually consider graphic design as a career. Your area of interest is more towards creating imagery, and it may not be related with textiles or fabrics or garments. That is where you should take a call and you should consider graphic design as a base. There's a big difference between art and design wherein art is more about your self-expression. You are creating something, you know, your independent thought, your thought process, and you're making some art, which is not meant to be sold to anybody. But on the other hand, design is always created with a customer in mind, a client in mind. Just to tell you about myself, I have a design degree and I have studied from NIFT New Delhi Fashion Design from the 2001 batch. And if you want to know more about me, you can even click onto this link where I am telling my design journey. And I've also left the link in the description below. It has been 19 years in the industry as a professional. And design is an amazing field. Fashion design is an amazing field. The truth is there is enough competition in the market. But then, you know, if you make your own mark, uh, you will find your own niche. There's always a buyer for you. There's always a customer for you. Fashion design students actually have a lot of job opportunities. Do not get delusioned. Do not. I will. I will tell you the reality. Of course, there is a lot of struggle, but at the same time, you know, if you are talented, you will always be occupied with work, and you you will always be in demand. Let's understand why fashion design. First of all, it is one of the most creative and flourishing industry, and yeah, there is a glamour cushion to it as well. You know, you are actually uh, studying on a daily basis about what's in trend, and I think that's quite exciting. Every project that you do as a professional, as a design professional, you are incorporating something new, which also adds into your learning at the same time to your work. And that's how you evolve as a designer. And to tell you about fashion, I think the best thing is to be passionate about fabrics, materials that, that goes in creating a garment, and then be very aware about trends on a daily basis. Keep checking um, online uh, references like uh, Instagram or uh, all the influencers, all the bloggers, bloggers, and cre keep creating your own content. That way you will also be able to see yourself on the platform and then you, sometimes you actually can reassess yourself and think about maybe you should have done something better or maybe something you have done really amazing already. And when you've done something and when you've posted your work or if you've shared your final work, please celebrate and also take the learning outcomes from that like to understand how you could have done things better. Maybe you can apply that in your next project. As a fashion designer in the industry, there's plenty of travel opportunities. You will be sent to travel to another part of the world where you will see the trends, the market, come back with all your research, then work on your collection. There are many other career opportunities that you can actually switch from being a fashion designer. For example, you can be a costume designer and uh, design for movies. Uh, design a costume collection for, uh, uh, you know, movies and uh, superstars or, uh, you know, style for stars like, for example, Lady Gaga. That's a great example. 
You can be a fashion stylist where you are not actually creating collection, but you are actually collating where you are totally aware about what all kind of garments a designer has created and what is appropriate for maybe a celebrity to wear that in a specific uh, uh, event. You can be a fashion blogger, be a fashion illustrator, fashion writer, where you are actually writing content about your research, your trend research that you have done in lots of publications like uh, magazines like Vogue or Cosmopolitans and many other. Once you get into learning about fashion, you will realize that there are lots of other publications. Definitely be very strong at digital platform. It has become a very important aspect of a designer. To start your own content creation, I encourage everybody right now to uh, create your own content, uh, creating your content in terms of videos or even images. For example, your own Instagram profile, or it can also be a YouTube content the way I'm doing right now and I'm sharing this this actually becomes like your responsibility once you are a professional so that you can share the right kind of content for your juniors and for people who are going to be the future designers who are going to follow you. And I think that way you'll also be able to assess yourself personally. You know, creating a content itself is a big exercise in itself because right now, for example, the way I'm creating this content, I'm actually doing a lot of research before I get onto the camera right now in front of you. This goes for any career, by the way. Uh, keep learning. Keep learning things, keep learning uh, and getting stronger with your domain, you know, learn about all graphic softwares, learn about storytelling, learn about um, um, uh, presentation design, many other things. There are so many things. There are some very good colleges in India itself and you can consider NIFT or Pearl Academy of Fashion to learn fashion design from. There is also NID, which is National Institute of Design which is for other uh, disciplines like graphic design, animation, product design, and many other disciplines, you know, you should consider that. Please go through all their prospectus, see all the opportunities from there. A bonus tip for you. Now, this is about any career that you're going to take in future, but if it is mostly about design and in the creative angle, then keep these three things in your practice of life. Consider fitness as one of your important schedule in, in your daily life. If you're fit, you tend to think positive. Positivity is the main energy for creativity. Have music in life. Music is such a blessing that we have. You know, if you listen to music, if you have a taste about music, it itself is going to give you unlimited inspiration. Learn an instrument, keep playing it or sing if you like to develop your vocals then sing because then that is also going to make your presentation sound better be positive always find the positive side of every story i'm sure you all know that every story has its positives and negatives glass is always half full or half empty so it's your choice what to pick and yes one more bonus within the bonus is go by your intuitions develop your intuitions believe in yourself go by your heart more than your mind because your mind is only data which you have experienced or you've been taught about. I really hope you learned a lot in this video and uh, maybe it helped you in deciding about your career goals. But yes, uh, I would also encourage you to keep uh, watching my other videos because there are different contents in terms of design. I'm talking in detail about different ideas about design, uh, how to get a job in design career. That's the video you can go into my playlist. I'm also talking about how uh, digitally uh, a garment is designed on Illustrator. I'm also talking about presentation designs. I'm talking about how a graphic design logo is done. All those things are there and uh, go through them and uh, leave your comments in the comment section below. And I think that's going to be amazing. And uh, I wish you all the best.